the tragic tale of free speech in the age of social media tyrants. I know many of you only know the comedic side of me, but this is important. The Supreme Court is currently hearing two cases that could have a significant impact on how social media companies moderate content. In a world where everyone's a critic and every cat video is up for public debate, the Supreme Court is pondering a real head scratcher. Should the digital town square be policed by the same folks who decide if your meme game is strong enough? That is right, the guardians of the like button might just have to explain themselves when they decide to silence your keyboard warrior prowess. Here's the scoop. Social media platforms, those digital soapboxes where your uncle shares his conspiracy theories and your friends post endless selfies have become the modern day public square. Unlike the town crier of yore, these platforms do not just passively host the chatter. They actively curate it with the finesse of a toddler choosing crayons. Sometimes the blue one gets eaten. So the question on everyone's mind is, if these platforms are going to act like they're the arbiters of free speech, shouldn't they at least tell us why they're gagging us? If I cannot share my two cents on the latest celebrity scandal without getting the digital boot, what's the point of having a share button? YouTube, Facebook, and their ilk have decided to step into the public forum arena, but now they're acting like one friend who invites you over then tells you to take off your shoes and not touch anything and only talk about the weather. If they're going to censor us, they better be ready to pull back the curtain and reveal the wizard behind the algorithm. In short, I think unless you are out there breaking the law or shouting fire in a crowded chat room, you should be able to voice your opinion, no matter how unpopular, without fear of the digital guillotine. And if the authorities decide to silence you, they owe you an explanation, preferably in less than 280 characters. Democracy and politics thrive on the cacophony of voices, not the selective mute button of a social media overlord. So let us keep the conversation flowing, the memes rolling, and the debates going. It's our digital world, and we have plenty to say. Stay alert, stay alive, stay free. The Real Sarcasmo, sounding off on protecting freedom of speech.